So here you can see that I have some objects in my scene and what we're going to do is turn one of these objects into particles so that we can control them and they continuously fall up. So what I'm going to do is let's uh, turn this little um, item into a particle. So this is in a separate layer. So for that, to turn that into a particle so that it continuously falls down, I'm going to go into shapes right here. So once I go into shapes, uh, you can see that there's the particle. This is the one, this is the object that I want to turn particle to. Uh, other objects, I just want to hide this. So I don't want any of these objects. So let me just uh, hide each one of them. You can see that I can hide these objects. So let's just hide all of these circles right there. This particle, I'm going to make sure that the origin point is this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into behavior and then choose particle for this one. So by default, the particle mode is point and shoot. But for this example, we're going to choose snow. So let's go ahead and go to snow. There are some parameters that you can adjust, but this is what we're going to adjust in the lesson. Let us go to record right here and you can see that it starts falling, but the platforms start falling as well. I don't want the platforms to fall. Uh, so I'm just going to go around and add a crown over here on the mm, particle effect so that only the circle falls down just like that, as you can see. So what I can do further is turn this into collide. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to add in a collide onto this. So I'm just going to turn this into collide and I'm going to turn this into collide as well. And now let us go on to record. So I need to turn this into collide as well. So I just need to turn this into collide. And now let's see how it happens. So you can see that the particle gets collected out as if it is colliding, as you can see right there. But there's only a number of particles that will be there on the screen for uh, some time. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go around onto the effects and on the particles. So let's just go around into particles and change around the settings. So we're going to set the particle mode itself to snow. We're going to leave it as it is. Particles per second, I can choose around. So I can bring down the value like three per second or really increase out the value. You can see that you can really increase out the particle value as well. You can change around the direction as well. So let me just change that out to 20 per second. And then uh, the direction, I can click and drag it. And you can see that the particle direction of where it actually comes from changes out as I actually drag this in. So I can drag it onto the right or the left, as you can see, according to what I want. I can change around the velocity of the particle. So I can really make it slow, as you can see, or I can make it large, just like that, according to what is required. And then I can go around onto its spread. So I can really make it spread as if something is falling off randomly. And I can change around the randomness of the particle as well. I can change around the lifespan. So right now it's five seconds or so, it's zero, so it does not actually come up. I can also decrease out the uh, lifespan and it'll disappear quickly. But if I were to increase this, it'll remain for a longer period of time. I can enable and disable the collide from here itself as well. If you haven't enabled it later on, you can scale out the particle as well. But you can see that now as I increase the lifespan, it is quite getting slower. That is quite natural. So you can go around, change around the opacity of the particle as well entirely. If you want to make it transparent, you can do that. You can fade around the opacity as time goes by. You can see that this is how it works out. And before it disappears, it actually fades out, giving that cool little effect. You can also flicker out opacity, so giving it a different kind of an effect right over there. So that is how you can work around with, uh, Adam, uh, with, with particle behavior. You can turn any object into a particle so that it continuously falls out like this. So you have to create something like a rain effect or something. Then you can go around and choose this up just like that. So I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.